What's going on, everybody? Josh Engelman here for oddshopper.com. Back again with the prize picks, picks for Friday, March 10th. And you're going to want these picks, by the way. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you know when everything goes live. Follow me on Twitter at Josh Engelman because we are on a heater, folks. You can see it on the screen. Look at it. I'm looking at it right now. You guys should be looking at it too. Four and one yesterday. Couldn't get Buddy Heald to the line, unfortunately, but we had no issues picking up the dub for yesterday. That moves us to 17 and six over the past five days. We are killing it. I hope you're joining me for it. Five more picks for today. Let's close this work week out strong. First one up, we're going back to the free throw props. I know there's a lot of different props that you can get to here for Sohan, but in my opinion, under two and a half free throws made is the direction I want to go. I got him projected for 1.5. On the season, he's averaging 1.4 free throws made per game, so a full free throw less than the line. He's only shooting 2.1 free throws per game this season. If you want to bump that up a little bit because of expected minutes, go for it. But if you feel comfortable about the Spurs minutes at this point in time, by the way, they're fully healthy coming into today. I don't trust anything that they're doing right now. They're 12-point dogs to Denver. It's, it's a gross spot for San Antonio. Denver doesn't foul also. They are ninth in free throw rate perfect spot here take the under two and a half free throws for jeremy sohan i feel pretty good another one that seems a little too good to be true and we're just gonna take it anyway kyle kuzma under three and a half free throws made that we're, i love these free throw props man they're like my favorite thing to do uh, unless it's the over 0.5 and the guy doesn't shoot any that's that drives me crazy but this line is three and a half for kuzma i got him projected for 2.6 so almost a full free throw under the mark he averages 2.7 free throws made per game this season he only takes 3.7 free throws per game so even the best free throw shooter in the world is still not going to be expected to get three on that number 3.7 like is he gonna go three is he gonna like he's gotta hit them all even if he hits three if he goes three for three from the line we win this prop i'm gonna assume that he misses one so if he shoots four three for four works for us i'll take what i can get there another under on free throws for this time for kyle kuzma but it's not just unders this time we're going over over nine free throws made for Joel Embiid. Now I get it, that's a big number, but I got him projected for 10.1. This is a guy that averages 10.1 free throws made. He shoots like 12 a game. We know that he's gonna be out there. Portland's basically neutral in foul rate. They're dead middle of the pack, 15th. So you do expect Joel Embiid to still get fouled. But the big piece here for me, the piece, the reason that I like it a little bit more, Yusuf Nurkic is now back for Portland and he is not good at uh, avoiding fouls 34th percentile this season in foul rate that's that's bad he, he's going to put Joel Embiid on the line and more importantly this is a guy that's been out with a calf injury he's been out for a while he just made his return so timing probably off not really feeling his best I like the idea of Nurkic being like less than his normal self and Embiid causing some of those fouls so over nine free throws made for Joel Embiid all of those free throw props are almost as good as the deal on Pick'em Pro. You see the banner on the screen. I'm looking at it right now, too. We're talking 50% off our Pick'em Pro package using the promo code SCORE. Click the link in the description. Head on over to Stochastic and sign up. It's going to be less than 5 bucks for your first week. If you want more prize picks content, we take all the props that exist at prize picks. We run them through our model. We use our projections, and we give you the percent chance that every one of those props goes over or under. Grab anything that you're seeing over 60%. It's going to pay off for you in the long run. I promise. Combine that with my video. Whew, how much money could you possibly want? Don't get too greedy. But sign up at Stochastic for Pick'em Pro. So, so many words with the P's in it. Struggled me there. But profit is one of those words that you're definitely going to get to. Especially if you continue to tail my picks. Next one up, we're going to Toronto. We're taking Scotty Barnes over one and a half blocks plus steals. So we're calling over one and a half stocks for Barnes. I got him projected for 1.9. He averages 1.9. And I just like this spot for it. Taking on the Lakers. Uh, we're getting Russell back, but he doesn't have the same sort of familiarity with the team just yet. Hasn't been able to play enough. And this is a massive pace up spot for Toronto. Pace up means more possessions. More possessions means more opportunities for blocks and steals. This is a good spot for Scotty Barnes. And all it takes is two. I would not be surprised at all to see him go north of two. I expect him to get one and then the sweat is on. 
for a block or a steal. So we'll keep a close eye on it. But for right now, I think he's projected a little bit too low. This is a prop that if you saw it in the markets, there would be juice to the over. That makes me feel pretty comfortable about taking that over here on prize picks where there is no juice. Now we're closing it out and I know no one's gonna like this, but I don't care, you need to listen to me. Damian Lillard, under 32 and a half points. I've got him projected for 30. I know, taking Dame to not score is about as not fun of a prop as you can take. However, he averages 32.3 points per game this season. So slightly under that number, very minimally under that number, just by default. This is a massive pace down spot for Portland. Philly is 27th in pace in my pace metric. It's about as low as you're going to be able to go. So less possessions in this game means less opportunity for scoring. Obviously, the Sixers defense is good. Uh, anytime Dame's going to try to get to the rim, he's got to deal with Joel Embiid. Not a fun thing to do. And then the big one, we don't know it yet for certain, but Anthony Simons is questionable for this game. If Simons is back, that's just less usage for Dame. Straight away, no matter what, no matter what minutes you're getting for Anthony Simons, if you're putting Simons back on the floor, that's less shots for Dame. So it's more shots for Anthony Simons because, you know, Simons should shoot more. When you only have Cam Reddish and Matisse Thibel out there with you, it's pretty easy for Dame to get the shots up. It's a little bit different if Simons comes back. So I'm going to try to take advantage of it now, get that line at 32 and a half. Hopefully Simons plays here. But even if he doesn't, I think it's a really decent prop to grab early under 32 and a half points for Dame Lillard. There we go, folks. Picks are in. Sohan under, Kuzma under, Embiid over, Barnes over, and Lillard under. Those are the picks for Friday, March 10th. I hope you've been tailing me all week. We've been hot for a couple of days. We're going to keep that heater alive. Let's make that money, baby. We're heading to the weekend. We'll be back on Sunday.